Welcome everybody back to another uh, episode of the Movie Buzzer. I am your host. I am here to bring you the latest box office reports and also any movie news as well that has hit this week. Um, I do want to say if you're not a subscriber and you like what you see, by all means hit that subscribe button and uh, that way you don't miss any content that my channel needs to bring. Also that bell notification will also let you know when I do upload videos and I do usually v upload videos daily. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into this week's Movie Buzz. Well, Avengers Endgame was number one for a third straight week, bringing in another $63 million to its total. It has now made the number three spot on our domestic list on movies, uh, surpassing Infinity War and Black Panther. Um, I, at this time, I don't think it's going to catch Star Wars Force Awakens uh, for our number one in domestic. Uh, it is, of course, still number two in the overall in the worldwide. Um, it is at 2.4, and I got a feeling it's going to be a close race to now beat Avatar. I don't know if it's going to beat uh, Avatar or it's going to beat uh, Force Awakens by this point because just by every week it drops 50% so if it made 60 some million this week it's only going to make 30 million now next week in the uh, US box office because you're going to have movies like John Wick 3 uh, coming out next week and then the next week you got Aladdin coming out so it's competition is getting a lot more fierce and I don't think it's going to be the number one of all time uh, as far as worldwide or even domestic I think we're going to it's going to end up always it's going to end up selling for number two but what do you guys think Coming in at number two was the uh, Detective po Pikachu uh, Pokemon movie, uh, the live-action Pokemon movie that came out. Um, it came in with the fifty-eight million dollars. It was a close race. It could have possibly, you know, gotten Avengers, but it didn't. Um, but the thing is, you know, it, it did break the record as far as the num the highest um, video game movie that we've gotten uh, as far as debut it beat tomb uh, Laura Croft Tomb Raider so but it, it's very well received it has gotten eight you know a lot of audiences giving it an A um, I will end up checking this one out when it comes to blu-ray to give you a more in-depth uh, review of this movie so this week the spider-man far from home trailer and the it uh, chapter 2 trailer also dropped uh, this week as well. I did my reaction videos on both of these, so if you're really wanting to know more in depth of what I thought of these uh, two trailers, by all means go check out those videos and uh, that way you can hear what I think. Also, Disney released their uh, release schedule as far as uh, f quite a few of their movies and what movies are going to actually, you know, when they're going to take place and everything. Um, and also ones that are now taken off the list with the, uh, the acquirements of Fox. Um, and they moved the Avatar sequel, which was slated for it to come out uh, this uh, next December. Uh, it is now pushed back another year, so we're not going to see Avatar 2 until 2021. Uh, it's probably because Endgame is actually kicking its ass. Uh, Star Wars, they announced the release date of three more movies on it, and the fact is they're actually going to release these movies every three, every two years. So the fact is, that way we're not getting overloaded with Star Wars movies every single year, or at least right now, that's the plan, I guess, because I think they said that they, there's just too much Star Wars, they're getting a lot of heat for that, which I don't think is true. Um, also, uh, they of course took the Gambit movie off the off the slate because the fact that Fox, you know, Fox don't own it no more. It's Disney, and this was a horrible idea to begin with. I don't think this movie should have ever even was going to be made or ever. It has so many damn problems. I was glad to see it go. Um, also, the new Mutants movie, which was actually slated to come out this August, um, it is now pushed back all the way till next year. Um, <laughs> and it just got makes you wonder: Is this movie ever going to get off the ground? Um, it, apparently, it's been done, but they're, they've had to do reshoots and everything else. Um, I'm actually going to do a video on this uh, later in the week. Well, that's it, guys, for Movie Buzzer this week. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the uh, comment box below. I will answer your comments, and I'll go get back to you. Um, and until next week, guys, this is it for Movie Buzzer.